Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Dan Terrell, band director in the Linmar School District, who is subbing this week while the Shanleys are in uh, Colorado uh, seeing Vivian play in the Christian McBride Band. Uh, and so you are the guest. Awesome. Con- yeah, it is, it is very awesome. Yeah. Uh, conducting the municipal band this week. Yeah, that is very awesome because it's a nationwide thing. And we had two, we have two students from our area who made this big band. Uh, Vivian, uh, of course, well-known to everybody mm-hmm. here at KCCK and uh, and and equally well-known, Colby Schnebelin, yeah. uh, who graduated from City a couple of years ago and is now the... Uh, uh, now at the University of Iowa, and he also made that band. So oh, two of our own, uh, Love it. really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we make good musicians around here, Absolutely. and that's do a lot to you know people like Steve and people like you. Uh, Thank you. So it's yeah. uh, great to have you here. And excited. tell me what you have planned for the concert. This yeah, week. I'm very excited because I I uh, when Steve asked me, I did a week last summer, and I did a little bit more traditional, kind of pick some favorites, put put together a, a program with some nice. Variety, and I thought uh, this year I wanted to do a theme, so we're doing Christmas in July. Whoa! Yep, it's going to be a, gonna be a, a, a festive affair. <laughs> so all Christmas music? Almost all. Okay. There's a, two exceptions. Uh, one of which Steve asked me if, if um, I would do a little feature that he wrote for um, a soprano saxophone player from uh, Boulder Peak Elementary School, which is in the Linmar District. Um, a student of my colleague Amy Craplin's, um, they premiered at an IBA because Amy's band was selected as the sixth grade honor band. And it's a, a cute, super cute little little feature for her because she's a phenomenal player um, who came uh, here from France. She moved in. So that's the exception. And I guess kind of one that's a, a little bit um, related, but not quite Christmas. I'm doing the Frozen 2 medley. Oh, okay. So not, so quite, not Christmas, quite Christmas, but, you know. So well, those are the two exceptions. Well, <laughs> your young sax player uh, came to jazz band camp, not yes. this year, but last year. and She's uh, awesome. And we knew she, what's her name? Uh, Marion Spolore. That's right. I hope yeah. I said that correctly. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we knew at the time that she was going to be yeah. She, that she was going to be a, a goer. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And so excited that, to, to to do that and and uh, uh, yeah, and the Boulder Peak Band ripped it up at oh, the were, Iowa were, Bandmasters convention. They in were May so too. awesome. Yeah. yeah, and Amy's just a phenomenal teacher, and of course, colleague of mine and friend. So loved loved uh, every minute of that program. So yeah. So Christmas in July. Yes. And so you've had. A lot of Christmas music to choose from. How did you winnow it down? You know, that's a good question. I've usually, you know, for our holiday concerts at, at uh, Linmar High School, we usually do, I usually kind of do one nod to the holidays. And so over the years, I've kind of accumulated a, a, a library of, of some good things. And and I, I'm, I think that this concert will appeal to a lot of people because it's, it's holiday flavored, but but it's not necessarily like Christmas Carol after Christmas Carol, you know, cheesy arrangements. It's there's some sophisticated uh, stuff in there for people that are maybe a little bit have a little bit more of a of a wind band palette, I suppose. But then certainly some some audience friendly um, ones as well. So I kind of just I kind of still approached it like the municipal band. Um, typically does with there's some medleys there's some there's a march even that has a little bit of a holiday nod um, y- you know some movie stuff I talked about Frozen 2 we got the feature with the soprano saxophone so I still kind of used the I don't want to say there's a template but a little bit of the, the formula that works pretty well for the band I still was able to kind of fit that in well it's I love it that you talk about you know having the wind band palette and and in cheesy arrangements because mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Hankowich and I talk about this all the time about, you know, you go, you know, you, you really need to go and listen yep. because, you know, we don't play, you, know, you don't play in the band, our orchestra, we don't play the dumbed down, easy, easy exactly. arrangements. Years ago, I had this same conversation with, um, Chip Davis, the founder of Mannheim Steamroller, yeah. uh, because that was his thing when they first started doing the Christmas music. He said, he said, the arrangements were just so dumb. I wanted mm-hmm. to have stuff with some meat to yep. it. Yep. And uh, so are, uh, are you going to spoil any of the titles? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. All right. So, so, so what did, uh, you know, so what fun arrangements so we're gonna did you open, find? We're going to open with an arrangement of most wonderful time of the year, kind of set the mood. Of course, the great Andy Williams, uh, and it's a... If there is a cheesy arrangement on the program, it's probably that one. But it's but it's fun, just a, a fun kind of waltz in, in that very typical 
uh, mel- you know, very uh, recognizable mel- uh, melody that everyone knows. And then after that, we have a very clever um, piece called Minor Alterations. It's by a, comp- or by a composer and performer named David Lovren, uh, who spends a lot of time with the Dallas Wind Symphony arranging and playing as a saxophone player. Uh, and he's taken a lot of carols and twisted them from major keys to minor. So it almost sounds it almost sounds Halloween like, but it's a but you can you can you can recognize the melodies, but he's made a minor, so kind of a different flair. And it's and it's not an easy arrangement. That it's got a lot of substance for the for the players. I think they'll really like it. Um, so that that's super fun. Um, talked about the soprano saxophone feature that's called Dorme Vu, not you, which is based on the the Frere Jacques melody uh, from Fran- you know from the French melody because uh, the student of course is from France. Um, Alfred Reed's Russian Christmas music is a very big piece in the, in the wind band literature. I had to make a little bit of a cut because the original one's like 13 or 14 minutes long, and I narrowed it down to about eight. Um, but it's really cool. It, it utilizes a lot of, uh, utilizes a, a lot of uh, folk uh, melodies from Russia, as well as some music from the liturgical, uh, from the Eastern Orthodox uh, Church, and then some Alfred Reed original uh, you know, parts of, the, of that as well. But it's a very, very cool, big big piece for the for the players. Um, Patapan is a, I think it's a French uh, melody, um, so there's a nice arrangement, Shelley Hansen's arrangement of that. Um, Frozen 2 we talked about. A really, really beautiful ballad, uh, Percy Granger, and this one has some Iowa tie-in. Um, Percy Granger, um, you know, was well known for um, transcribing sort of vocal pieces just out in rural the rural countryside, mostly of England, um, and this piece is called Sussex Mummer's Christmas Carol, and uh, the Iowa tie is uh, Franco Goldman actually arranged uh, Granger's um, transcription for band, and it was originally premiered at the State College of Iowa. Oh, uh, <laughs> what was then called the State College yep, of Iowa. Which, is the, <laughs> which, of course, is the University of Iowa. And uh, the Goldman Library, a lot of a lot of the Goldman Library is housed at the University of Iowa. So, so that is a really really beautiful ballad. Um, one of my favorite Christmas movies, uh, Home Alone. Uh, of course, the great John Williams, very substantive, almost a transcription from the John Williams score. Uh, Paul Lavender is well known for taking a lot of those. Uh, movie scores and pretty much transcribing them for bands. Oh yeah, we've talked about him before. He's the guy. He's the only guy, or one of the very few people that John Williams will allow yep. to touch his stuff. Exactly, exactly. So that's a fantastic one. Uh, of course, you know, timeless melodies out of that movie. And then the march that I that I uh, alluded to is a, is a Sousa march. It's called the Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company March, which you wouldn't think. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just. It yeah. really says Christmas. Yes, exactly. And it's not necessarily Christmas, I suppose, but the artillery, the Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company uh, is a military organization based out of Boston. And Sousa, back in the 1920s, I believe, uh, visited that area, visited this, this organization, and they, their marching song is Auld Lang Syne. And they wanted Sousa to write them a march. So he uses that melody, which of course is the New Year's uh, melody, not so much Christmas, but the holidays. Um, he uses that melody in the trio as as the main as the main. Oh, melody. interesting! So really, really cool. Wow. I heard it at Midwest, which is the the big uh, national band or international band and orchestra director um, conference every December. I heard it last a couple years ago, maybe, and I just thought it was awesome and so, sort of off the beaten path. Susan March. Um, and so I bought it, and I think it'll work really well for this program as the end. So. It's Christmas in July. Dan yeah. Terrell, guest conducting with the Cedar Rapids Municipal Band this week. What are the concert locations? Uh, we've got Bowman Woods on the Wednesday. Oh, so just like probably in your backyard I pretty much. I can walk much. there. In fact, I may. Because <laughs> parking is parking is never the best at, at Bowman Woods. So if you live in the area, I encourage you to walk there. But um, and then uh, McGrath Amphitheater on the Sunday evening. Nice. Oh, and that's I know the I know the band likes to spread out on that big yes, stage. Yes, so. that, that's a beautiful, of course, beautiful venue that we have now, and and, and love that. And uh, one plug: we would love, love, love to get a lot of kids to the concert. Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are <gasps> going to be there. Okay. They're 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 traveling that week. 
around and they happen to be in they're, Iowa. They're, they're, they're vacationing they're because vacationing. they vac- they because they vacation in the Midwest. It's the probably, off season. Yep. yep. Probably cabin on a lake. I'm yep. Santa's got to be a he's got to be a big fisherman. I'm yep, guessing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So they're going to be there. And they're going to be at both the Wednesday and the Sunday concert. And they they said they would make a special uh, arrangement to have kids sort of let them know their early, early, early Christmas <laughs> wish lists and kind of how they're doing this year uh, with their, uh, you know, behavior. And so we would love to get some kids out and visit Santa and Oh, Mrs. what Fox. fun. What fun. Well, uh, yeah, what a, uh, what a creative way to jump in and do a concert in the middle of July. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Uh, you can also listen to watch and listen to the concerts on the live stream. I've been doing that more often than not this summer, just because of scheduling stuff. So that's been that's been very fun. Yeah, it's and, great uh, to have that. Yep. Uh, and visit crmuniband.org on the web if you'd like to know more. Dan, yeah. thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you very much. Hope to see you guys out at the concert. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 10.30 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or your favorite podcast player. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.